What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back here again with another video. So, I just got a chance to check out some clips from SmackDown. I didn't want to do a traditional reaction to certain clips this time, only because I just didn't feel like it was warranted. Uh, I actually wanted to just kind of have like a little breakdown in my thoughts and opinions on what I saw. Um, so, let me start with one of the major things and kind of just work my way through the list of things that I remember offhand. Um, first thing first, Becky Lynch and Bianca Belair. It's like the second week where Bianca Belair is basically trying to get a one-on-one -on -one match with Becky. And Becky's basically shrugging her off like, we'll do it on my time. Heel like tactics. I do like that. They're setting it up. She's not overtly heel yet, but you can see it's coming. Um, my only issue still is the fact that we got to this point in burying Bianca. Now, you may think Bianca's not buried, but I'm going to be honest with you. Me personally, I don't care if they have a match at Extreme Rules, and I don't care to see Bianca win it. Not because I don't think she deserves a title. It's because she already lost to her clean in like a few seconds. So if Bianca was to beat her, then it would be like, what was the point of having the title taken from her in the first place? If Bianca's just going to win it right back. I'm sure they will have a match at Extreme Rules, but I, I don't believe Bianca will win. Will it be a, probably a good match? I think so. Will I be interested in seeing it? Not so much, but I will still enjoy it only because, like I said, for me, they've ruined Bianca's like credibility as a character, as a true champion because of how she lost the title. So I'm not sure. Maybe they can change my mind about it, but it doesn't look like Bianca will be getting that title back because it just wouldn't make sense to hot potato the SmackDown Women's Championship. So that's my personal opinion on that. I would like to get your guys' opinion on that. Would you guys even care to see a match between those two, a full match? Does it really matter to you because of how Bianca lost at SummerSlam? Or do you feel like her character is, is too much in, in a, a disarray and maybe she needs to move to Raw? So comment down below. Let me know what's going on with that. Um, so, uh, the next thing that comes to my mind is the Edge and Seth Rollins feud is being sparked back up. Um, basically, Cesaro was having a match with Seth. Seth is still not really over how he lost. And pretty much he gets himself disqualified, start using the same tactics that Edge would use with uh, putting him in the crossface with one of the uh, the legs of the chair. And then, you know, about to hit him with the chair, though. Edge comes out, tried to save the day, but Rollins slithers away. And the beautiful promo segment with Edge in the back basically saying, yo, I thought this would be over at SummerSlam, but it's not. But it makes sense because we're more or less the same. The way Seth Rollins lost to me, it probably wouldn't be over if I was in that if I was in his position. So next week, which they're gonna be at Madison Square Garden, which should be a pretty nice showing. Uh, they're gonna he's gonna, he challenged them to a match, and he said you're not gonna be the same. So it's looking like they're setting up something for them at Extreme Rules. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some something that's going to happen in the match they have next week so it looks like they're probably going to set up something for extreme rules maybe a tlc match edge made the tlc match famous so i think that would be pretty cool if you're gonna have extreme rules you have edge there do a tlc match i'm, I'm all for it um to be honest i'm okay if edge does get the win here but i could see them going with giving seth rollins the win and it's like, uh, you know, they both have a win and they have a rubber match. So we'll see how the booking goes. But comment down below. Let me know what you guys feel about them having a TLC match at Extreme Rules. If you think that would be interesting. Well, who do you think should win? Edge or Roman? Because it's looking like it's going to probably go past more than just next week on SmackDown. We also have to talk about uh, Paul Heyman getting a phone call from his his old friend Brock Lesnar, uh, he called him. Was like, "Yo, let your guy know I'm gonna be there next week." You know what I'm saying? At Madison Square Garden, uh, Roman uh, basically nonchalant about it when uh, Paul Heyman brings them the news, but then he slowly starts to get serious because Brock Lesnar is a serious threat to his title run. So I'm interested to see 
how that's gonna play out. So basically, I will be reacting to their interaction, like their face off. I think that's gonna be pretty good. And then we got to talk about Finn Balor versus Roman Reigns. He challenged Finn Balor challenged Roman Reigns last week for a title opportunity. And of course, you know, you know, Roman being a gracious champion obliged, but Usos getting involved. As I expected, he's a heel. Has to be some heel tactics involved. But from the stuff that I did see, they were putting on a fantastic match. Roman made it look believable that um, that uh, Finn Balor could get the win. But ultimately, he did not get the win. And this is what's going to lead to potentially the Demon King returning. If you guys saw... Right when Roman is walking out the ring, walking up the ramp, the lights turn red just for a second. And he notices it. No one else notices it. Like, I like how Paul's not noticing it, but Roman notices it. And then, you know, he kind of just keeps on going about his business. And I like that. That's subtle. That's, I like subtle stuff like that. The Demon King may be returning. And if he does... I'm all for it. I think that would be a fantastic match. The Demon King Finn Balor versus Rogue Roman Reigns. Sign me the fuck up. This should, this could be good. This could be really great. Not sure when they're going to set this match up for, how they're going to book this, but I'm, I'm interested. It's, it's, it's so good to have a top heel like Roman because you want anyone that's like, you know, credible and believable to take the title off of him and roman knows how to make his opponents look good in defeat so uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it i also want to see how brock lesnar is going to play into the mix this is going to be interesting next week and leading up to extreme rules so yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I like the tease. So comment down below. Let me know if you guys are excited for potentially the Demon King coming back to face Roman Reigns. If you guys are excited to see the face off with Brock Lesnar. Who you think is going to win between Brock and Roman. Who you think is going to win between uh, Roman and the Demon King film Finn Balor when it does happen. If it does happen. Um, be honest. Roman's still taking the gold. I think they're doing long term booking. And ultimately... It's going to end with The Rock. I think they're building it up for him to knock everybody down, all contenders, until we get to The Rock. And even then, I still think he's going to beat The Rock. But that's neither here nor there. I just, that's where I think they're taking the booking. Comment down below. Let me know uh, your opinion on Raw if you enjoyed it. This I said Raw. Oh, God. <laughs> your opinion on SmackDown if you enjoyed it this week. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to... 60k appreciate y'all kicking in with me and i'll see y'all on the next one peace